How's it going, everyone? Well, this is the first time I've been using Python in at least a couple of months. And I think I may have used it maybe a couple of other times earlier this year. But the reason why I have not really been using this programming language much is because in my degree program, we focus on using Java, SQL, and as of this last spring quarter, HTML. So after having done some really deep thinking, I think it's best that I probably spend at least a couple days a week, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and just kind of refresh some of my Python skills. Let's kind of keep up to date with it. And I figured what better time than to kind of give a little bit of a demonstration on using functions. And so this is a great way to kind of review some of my Python coding skills and just general coding skills for that matter. So what I've done here is I've created four different lists here. And so my goal is to be able to find the average of each of these lists. Now, I'm gonna do this the long way, first off, for just one of these lists. And you'll see why it's really useful if you're using Python to be able to create a function. So what I'm gonna do is let's say, let's just, Let's just go ahead and print out this uh, customer one list. Okay, and so pretty much I wanna find what the average value of these numbers are. So I could go something like this. I could go, and I mean, there's different ways to go about this. I mean, I could go something like, if I print the length of this list, I know there are seven different integers in there. So I could do something like this. And like I said, there's different methods of doing this. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to try to attempt to find the sum. So here we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna initialize a variable called total and I'm gonna set it equal to zero. So now I'm gonna use a for loop. So for x, and you can name this variable here anything you want, but to just keep it nice and simple, I'll say x and and then I am gonna now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add to my total and let's go ahead and print the total okay so that's the total amount I've got there and customer one is 546 okay so now to find the average, I could do something like this. I mean, I could either count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you could tell if someone were using that method to try to find the average, they are definitely a true novice. And that's how I was at the very beginning. Like it would take me like about a hundred lines of code to write something that an experienced coder could probably do in like two lines of code or even one line of code. So right now, so let's say I want to find the average. I'm going to say customer one average is equal to a total divided by length of customer one. So basically what I'm doing is I'm dividing by the length because there are seven integers in there. And let's see what I come up with. And so I'm going to have customer one average and so that's my average amount, 78. And so you can see how this is going to become tedious, not only just for doing these three other lists, but what if I had like a thousand lists, 10,000 lists, or even more? Because when you're working with big data sets, you are going to have sometimes even millions of lists. And so could you imagine trying to do this for that many lists? You would never get your work done. So these are where functions come into play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a function that's gonna return the average value of any list I pass in as an argument. So let's, let's get with it. All right, so I'm gonna define find average and I'm gonna pass in a parameter in my list here. And so now what I do is, so I'm gonna say, and so this is where it's getting a little challenging because like I said, it's been a couple months since I've done any Python. And so I just gotta kind of think back to my Java and it's like, okay, so first of all, I can initialize a to total is equal to zero. Okay, 
So I'm just kind of doing the same thing. And so like, actually, let's just do total sums to not get confused. Actually, it doesn't matter because if, if you refer to scope, anything inside this uh, function is not, you know, it's, it's not part of the global scope. So I'm good there. It's equal to zero for x in my list total plus equals yeah total equals plus equal x and then and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna return total divided by length my list. Oop. Yeah that's and so if I've done this correctly when I pass in customer one as an argument, I should get the same value. So let's see how successful I am. Okay, so so far, doesn't look like I have any errors, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna test out my function here, find average, and I'm gonna pass in. So what I'm doing is I'm passing in this list as a parameter. So, and there you have it, success. I got it to match with the average amount I was able to find here. So you can see, like if I were to try to do this for the rest of these lists, very tedious. But as you can see now, now that I have my function, now I can do the oops, little error that's like, I didn't need to define. Oops, and cast, oh, typos here. Oh, and that's another thing about coding. A lot of times when you get an error message, it is simply due to typos, whether it's a missing parentheses, a misspelled word, incorrect punctuation. And in this case, it says incorrect spelling. Ah, okay, well, I don't want to really make this video longer than it has to be. So one more time, and if I don't get it, you guys will can customer two. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave it at that, but I think I pretty much proved the point that this function alone would cut down on a lot of work. So there you have it guys, kind of a tutorial video, kind of a chance for me to do some review of Python, and just to kind of bring you guys along in my journey into getting into the career field of tech. And yes, by the way, my internship is, yeah, it's going awesome, so. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that for now, but I'll be back at you guys with some more coding examples and, yeah, bringing you along in my tech journey. So thank you all for watching. Peace out.